Watch you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at how we can download any version of Windows 10 directly from Microsoft. Now, the problem with uh, the way Microsoft allow you to download ISO files from them is that you always have to download the very latest version. And this can cause a lot of problems for people when they want to, for instance, upgrade to the latest version and there's a problem and they can't use that version and they might want to go back a version, say, for instance, 1909 or something like that. And they want to use that version instead of the very latest version. Unfortunately, when you're using uh, Microsoft's website, you're forced to download and use the very latest version. In this case, it will be 20H2. So you can see here, when you type WinVer here, you'll see that we've got the very latest version of Windows 10. And that's because when I installed this version, it gave me the very latest version. But if you wanted to install 1909 or 2004 or any sort of other version, uh, then you can do, but you would need to get the ISO file to install that and create your bootable uh, USB flash drive with that version of Windows 10 on it. Maybe you're having issues with the latest version, you want to use an older version, or maybe it's just a choice thing and you just want to use the older version uh, rather than the newer version. There's nothing wrong with using versions that are still supported by Microsoft themselves. And you can always check the Windows 10 release information to find out when those versions see support from Microsoft. And you can have a look here, the very latest release date and also end of service for Home Pro and Education and Workstations and so on. You can see here also end of service for enterprise versions uh, listed down on the right here. And these are listed here for the other versions. So you can see you can still use 1909 right up, right up until 2021, 05, uh, 11. And you can also use 2004 right up to 2021, uh, 12, 14. So you can use those versions right up to there. So how do we get version 1909? Well, let's take a look and uh, we'll show you how to do it in this video. Now, this tool here, uh, which is a batch file, basically you can use the Microsoft website uh, to download these files. But basically what this batch file does is going to allow you to pull down what version you want uh, using this uh, batch file here. You can see it lets you download any version you like here. Now, be careful if you're using some of the really old versions because these are not supported uh, by Microsoft now. And if you are on the internet with these versions and they are not receiving uh, updates, uh, then you are running the risk. So make sure you check with that support uh, page from Microsoft to find out whether uh, these versions are supported. I would say anything from 1909 is safe to use now. They do quickly end support for these versions but if you're not online or you just want to use them and you're happy to use them by all means they are there to download if you're interested in the code you can take a look at this code here for this file and you can come on here and take a look there's plenty of information about it if you don't understand all this sort of stuff that's okay then maybe leave this well alone but if you are into it or you're into this sort of stuff, then you might want to learn and read all about this stuff here. And you can see what this actual batch file is actually doing. Okay. Now this is actually downloading the legitimate ISOs from Microsoft's website using this batch file. So let's go ahead and download uh, the zip file here. So you can see the file is coming down. Just going to drag this onto my desktop here. So we've got our file. So all I need to do here is extract all. So I'm going to extract all here. So he, here is the file. And all you need to do here is right click on this file and run this as administrator. You would then get this box popping up here. Gives you some more information about it. There's an unknown publisher and that's because that is uh, the way this script works. It's not been registered or anything like that from the publisher's name. So you're going to get this and you can run this script anyway. 
Now, once we see this here, you can see behind the back here, there is create Windows 10 media. And you can now choose the file that you want to download. So for instance, if you wanted to download 1909, which is 19H2, you'd click on this file here. And it will then start to download from Microsoft's website. Here we go. And up comes the Windows 10 setup. And it's now going to start to download that file for us. And this is using the Windows 10 media creation tool to download the correct file. So it's not coming from any third party website. It's actually coming from Microsoft's uh, main servers. So you can download this without the need to worry about any sort of files that have been tampered with. So we're going to accept those terms and conditions. And we're going to let this go through here and go to the next stage. And it will allow us to download the ISO file, as you'll see in a second. And there we go. We're ready to create an installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. Click Next. And now we can either use it for this PC, or you can take the tick out here. Click Next. And now we've got the option to create our bootable USB flash drive, or we've got the option to download that ISO file and go Next. And it's going to ask me where I want to download that file. Let me just say on my desktop here, I'm going to say save. And this will then download that file for us. And you can see that file is coming down. Now, I do get asked this question quite a lot about uh, how to download ISO files for previous versions of Windows. And it's quite difficult uh, to explain to people that Microsoft only offer the very latest version of that ISO file on their main website using their main media creation tool. But using this batch file, it will automatically allow you to download those files uh, from Microsoft's website. So we're going to let this download and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so that's nearly downloaded, as you can see here. So now we have the file downloaded, we can now finish off here. Also during the download process here, if we go into MCT, you'll see the media creation tool has been downloaded and it is version 1909. And this will clean up and close. There we go. And there is our ISO file here. So if I right click and I mount this ISO file, you can see here it's now mounted that file. And then I'll right click here and go to PowerShell. Windows PowerShell with admin. So once we've got that open, we can type in this command, mount disk image, and then space image path, and then the ISO image path here. And all we need to do here is push enter. And then all we need to put in here now is get and in volume. And this will give us all the volume information for that as well. And if you want to test, test the very, uh, and now we know that that is drive letter E, where that is mounted. We can also check here to find out where that is mounted as well. E. Then you can put in get dash volume space dash drive letter space E. And this will give you some more information about that there. We can also type in this command here. And this will give us information. Make sure your drive letter is exactly where that image is. And you can see now we get some information about the actual ISO itself. That's going to give us some more information here. And what you're looking for is the version and also the build. You can get all that information right inside here. And another thing we can do is verify uh, the ISO to make sure everything is okay. 
And I think that's going to be about it. So basically, that's how you can download any version of Windows 10, any ISO from Windows 10, straight from Microsoft themselves. So I hope this one's been useful to you. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Thanks again for uh, joining. Also, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye for now.